Hey everyone and welcome back to another episode of Columbia City. Today is episode 18 and we are finally starting uh, the waterfront here in Columbia City. I know you guys have been requesting that I do this for a while now. I just haven't gotten around to it because it's a really detailed uh, thing to to do. I mean, you'll, you'll see um, the amount of detail we put in this episode is a lot more than usual. Um, I know I did the Protected by Clean video recently, but uh, this is still definitely a lot of detail um, and a, a lot of very specific things uh, that I had to do um, without procedural objects that were not like, not as easy as a lot of the stuff I normally do. I still wasn't too bad. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. And I had to mess with a bunch of mechanics uh, at the beginning just to make sure I uh, was happy with like the way I was putting this together. Um, if you look here, I'm starting off by trying to place this one loft building um, by the water. And the way I'm doing it is I'm using these re these dock, um, pr uh, actually they're buildings, by Ronix uh, from the docks pack. Uh, and just trying to make an outline of what I want the sort of wharves to look like here. Um, and then I want buildings on the individual wharves, um, if you see what I'm basically doing here. Um, so like I basically have the main building and then I have the pavement and then I have the the docks And you'll see like a bunch of that got cut out. Uh, I just noticed um, from the actual video um, I, I think I forgot to unpause my recording, but yeah, I mean it was pretty basic what I did I just placed some ploppable pavement and then uh, the docks and then some fences on the sides of the docks that weren't terrain conforming and I had the building in the middle, like nothing too complicated there. And I used terraform networks in order to make the building not have like terrain around it, which I found those to be extremely useful in my endeavors to build a very hilly city here in Columbia City. Um, I've definitely enjoyed um, using those. Um, yeah, so let's see, uh, what else? Um, we are placing a bunch of props here. I'm placing just umbrellas, um, different tents or yeah, like just all this different stuff. Um, actually I didn't end up placing an umbrella, so that's a lie, but, um, yeah, like I'm, I'm just trying to make this look nice. Like it's maybe some sort of restaurant out here. I don't want to detail too much. Once again, like this is just a very high level of detail compared to what I usually do. I, I just want it to look somewhat reasonable. Um, and all of these, um, all of these are going to be diagonal, um, and, but the ends are going to be parallel, uh, I believe to the road. Um, I forget specifically how I did it, but, um, it ended up like working out exactly as planned. If you look in Seattle, like there are very similar wharves there. There are a lot of wharves, like the Seattle waterfront looks really cool. Uh, there's a Ferris wheel. I definitely want to add a Ferris wheel um, here on the waterfront on one of the, the wharves. Uh, we can do that. Maybe we could do some sort of amusement park um, like on the wharves. That, that could be cool. Um, tell me what you think. I, I can use some of the Santa Monica Pier um, assets from the workshop. Um, yeah, let me know about that. Um, yeah, I mean, if you're enjoying so far, uh, make sure to leave a like, uh, definitely would be appreciated. Um, cause I mean, yeah, we're definitely, uh, finally getting around to all of these more difficult projects, uh, in the city, like designing that protected bike lane that I'm able to copy paste to other areas. Uh, and then doing the wharves here so that I really know the concept for like how I'm going to do future wharves. Like we're really getting around to a lot of this, um, this stuff. So if you're excited for that definitely leave a like it does does help out a ton and also i mean we have been doing you know, this is like since last sunday if you consider last sunday to be um a part of this sequence um in you know eight days right four videos um uh, which i'm pretty happy with um that's that's pretty good um because this is supposed to go out on a sunday and um i had a video out last sunday and then tuesday and then um thursday or tuesday and then friday uh, or no, it was Sunday, Wednesday, Friday, whatever. Anyway, point is, four videos in eight days, um, which I don't think I've ever done that before. Um, and obviously, I've just got a lot of spare time right now, so that's why that's happening. People said to sort of stockpile videos and just upload them all at once. I don't really want to do that, because the problem is right now, I'm already like way ahead in videos. Um, so I don't want to like, yeah, like I, I don't want to get too far ahead of myself. Um, 
Like I have three more videos to release after this one. Like I, I'm, I have no shortage um, and I'm gonna be recording more soon. Um, so yeah, like I had a backlog of like six videos. So when I have that, I don't wanna just record even more because uh, I wanna be up to date with sort of what I'm doing. So I'm able to implement what you guys are telling me you want me to implement uh, in the comments. So I'm using these retaining walls by, I believe, Armesto. Uh, you'll see I'm using the ones with the arches. I'll actually switch those out for the ones without the arches. But these actually look really cool on the sides here. Because um, I use the, like, I'm, I'm using different types of walls and uh, docks and stuff for each um, specific wharf um, here. Um, and the, yeah, like, I'm using a lot of ploppable pavement. And I'm going to basically make my own custom parking lot here. I'm using the ploppable asphalt um, network because um, that, that actually exists uh, on the workshop, which makes it a lot easier. Like, uh, see, it would have been even easier if I had procedural objects, but I really don't want to go down that rabbit hole because I like building big cities and that would make me want to build really, really small projects. Um, and yeah, I, I've explained my, like, I, I don't PO looks like so much fun. Um, and maybe I'd be able to discipline myself into not going crazy with it, but I don't trust myself with it. So yeah, for now, we're just going to stick with, um, normal ploppable pavement and ploppable asphalt, um, without, you know, being able to scale it as we want with, uh, PO. But anyway, um, yeah, like this wharf here is pretty cool. Uh, it's based off of this one in Seattle that sort of has this building that's like a weird shape with parking around it. Um, I'm definitely not going to do this much parking uh, on other wharves in the city, but I definitely wanted to include something. Like, I I'm just generally basing this off of Seattle's wharves. Like, it in Seattle, it it's, it's, it's going to end up looking so much different from Columbia City just because I'm not, like, I don't have the capabilities to make stuff look exactly like it does in Seattle. It's, it's just really hard to do in game. So I'm just gonna do the best I can and it'll end up looking totally different as a result. And that's totally good. Like that's what I want. Um, I want it to look unique, but also be able to use Seattle as an inspiration. Uh, I had a couple things I wanted to talk about quickly. So uh, I asked you guys last video if you would be like, okay with me uploading videos of me like uh, cycling, like GoPro videos, uh, if I did some like long rides and wanted to share them with you guys. So that might happen. I just have to see if I can get my hands on a GoPro and then that that could be fun. Uh, so yeah, you guys seemed like you'd be good with me uploading those to the channel. So we'll see. Um, what else? Uh, the uh, Another thing I, I talked about last video was the location of Columbia City in the Pacific Northwest, like if it were to actually be there. Um, and what you guys made me realize is like, we're sort of in this alternate reality with um, Columbia City. Columbia City existing, it's just obviously already uh, doesn't actually exist. So we're already in sort of a like fantasy world here. So we can just sort of pretend that Seattle doesn't necessarily exist or isn't the terminus of the, um, the terminus of uh, the Coast Starlight Train, because we were talking about how the Coast Starlight Train, is, which is the line, the Amtrak line that goes from Los Angeles to Seattle, uh, you know, how it terminates in Seattle. Well, um, I want it to terminate somewhere on this map instead, so I was thinking um, that that could work, and I honestly realized it honestly doesn't matter, and instead, uh, one of the suggestions was maybe make this, like, very close to the Canadian border, um, and have there be a border crossing in the map, uh, like a bunch of people suggested that, so if you guys second that idea to have there be like an international border on the map, because I've never done anything like that, obviously $2.20 did border town, um, which is US-Mexico border, so definitely way different, but I'd be able to implement some similar things there, uh, that, that he did there. Um, yeah, I mean, let me know if you second that idea, because I'm, I'm definitely open to it. Um, and then in that case, like people basically said, have the train terminate um, in the Portland inspired area across the bay. So that's actually, yeah, like, actually, I think one person said that. And I like that idea. I think I'm gonna probably do that. So it won't actually terminate in Columbia City itself. It'll terminate in the Portland inspired city across from Columbia City. Um, I think that's a good idea. Although there's a chance that I'm going to, like, because I'm using a different bridge, because right now I'm using the Sydney Harbor Bridge um, to um, 
across that that waterway and it ships are not going to fit under it and i'm going to have a huge harbor here so i'm gonna have to use a different bridge instead um so there's a chance that i just won't have rail going across there whatsoever except for my light rail line uh in which case there would be no point in having you know my heavy rail go all the way across there um as well uh and it just wouldn't make much sense because that's supposed to be some sort of like islands um but yeah we'll, we'll see i just rambled on and it probably made no sense so sorry about that i'm just trying to make sense of you know what the deal with columbia city is and where it is and a bunch of different things and yeah um another thing i wanted to talk about quickly is the thumbnail so i'm like if, if you noticed like recently i've for the past couple months i guess i've had thumbnails that that have been um very simple like a, just a color and then like a very basic font with the name of the series and then the number of the episode and that's cool like i, I really i am a very devout minimalist i like how you know like simple it is and just how utilitarian like i, I like that but um i want each episode, like each series to have character, right? E each city is different, right? I've got a logo for each city that I made on purpose that fit the character of the city. Like I've got the New Windsor logo, I've got the Columbia City logo, I've got the Calibre Beach logo, and I want those to be able to be included on the um, episode thumbnails uh, like they used to be. So I, I think I want to shift back to something where the, um, the, the logos are in the thumbnails. So if you look at this video um, and the thumbnail on it, uh, let me know what you think of that. Because another thing I've done is I've put a, uh, a the City Skylines logo in the top right corner of the thumbnail. And a lot of you might think that's sort of stupid and like, well, this is obviously City Skylines, but I mean, a lot of people actually might not be able to tell that my videos are City Skylines because sometimes, like, the, the, the thumbnails that I uh, have for my videos just look completely, like, it's just a photo. And it sometimes, maybe if you're a vanilla player, you might not be able to tell it apart. I don't know. Uh, I want to, like, be able to show that, yeah, this is City Skylines on the thumbnail. Um, and obviously, I could do that with text, but if I, I think doing a different style logo for each series where new windsor has its own style city skylines logo caliber beach does and columbia city does that might work as well so i don't know basically let me know what you think of the the thumbnail style that i i used on the last video and i'm using on this video uh, i would definitely like to hear hear your thoughts before i make it uh, more permanent but yeah once again like i sort of want to add character and make sure that it's clear that my videos are city skylines videos in the thumbnail itself um because, like, I'm just imagining, like, if I was a vanilla player and I saw one of the thumbnails for Columbia City with, like, some photorealistic screenshot or, like, a scrapyard or something, it's like, I wouldn't think it's City Sky. I'd have to read the title, which uh, a lot of people just look at thumbnails. So, yeah, you get what I mean. I've, I, I keep rambling on here. I've talked about, about a lot this episode. Um, so, I, I guess we're sort of wrapping up here with the, the, uh, the wharves uh, at the waterfront, like, these are just two of what will be like 15 different wharves that we're gonna have to build over a long period of time. It's gonna be a really long um, uh, sequence of builds here. And we're just gonna do them every once in a while, like whenever I feel like building a wharf or two, I'll, I'll just make a, another couple wharves. So that's that's what we will uh, we'll be doing here because I can't do all of this at once. It's just not gonna happen. Um, like that would be insane. So, yeah, uh, I also want, want to get your feedback on what you think of these, because, like, I haven't built anything like this since New Belfast uh, within New Windsor. So definitely let me know what you think of uh, what we built this episode. And, I mean, if you want to get a better idea of it, we're going to hop in game now. I'll show you what we built, and, um, yeah. All right, folks, we're in game. Uh, we're not next to what we built this episode. We're sort of in this uh, hilly neighborhood that we built. Uh, I think episode six or something. That is totally messed up. I have to fix that, uh, but I'm in an older save, so I don't really want to do that right now. I'm just going to wait that out and just try to remember to do that because that looks pretty weird. Anyway, um, yeah, uh, we've got this episode. We built that. Just li That's all we built. Just literally this right here. Um, and then we placed this here. This is just a, uh, a pier from the workshop, which is pretty cool. Um, which I don't know how I'm gonna implement. I'm probably just gonna implement that on, in a different 
place because I want all the peers that are or the peers and the um, orbs here. Which, by the way, I don't even know the difference between a peer and a wharf like in this context because this is a this is a peer. I don't know. You tell me in the comments. I think I asked you this already in New Windsor, but I forget. Anyway, like this is sort of what we have here. I'm not going to build this much parking in most areas. It's just this building, I guess, needs parking for some reason. Um, and mostly it's just going to be this parking. And I mean, those are the two buildings we, we made this episode. If you look over here, I placed like some graffiti slash, I guess it's a mural there. No, that's graffiti, but it's like meant to be there. I don't know. It looks cool. And then we have like a restaurant. We have some tents for something. I don't know. They're like fruits there, if you can see. <laughs> That's totally realistic. And yeah, I mean, you've got views of the city with, wait. Yeah, look at that. You've got like a souvenir shop and then views of the city, which is pretty cool. And it'll look even better. Like imagine once that, uh, that area right there is filled in, you'll be able to just look from the pier into the city with the water. Like that'll be really cool. I, I like that. I also like the color of the trees sort of in between the water and the city, just splash of green on the gray skyline. That's pretty interesting to me. And then I, I like this. I guess it's an apartment building of some sort, uh, red right in the water. And yeah, um, this is this right here, like screenshots like this are what I love about Columbia City. Um, this color is really satisfying against the gray skyline. Like, look at that. I I just love that. I don't know if you guys also love that. I, I just think it's re really satisfying. And that is why I love this city so much. Also, we've got a problem here because the, these nodes are like really close together. So whenever a car goes by, let's see. Let's wait for a car to come by. Anybody? Any volunteers? Oh, there we go. You saw it. It sort of like flew over the uh, the node. Wait, yeah, here we go. Watch this. Yeah. See, I can't really do anything about that, which sort of sucks. Uh, the only thing I can do is I can move the... Um, like, I can move everything here out um, one... Like one cube or, or unit or whatever or like something like that like just a couple meters out this way i think i could fix that because then what would happen is i'd have to reposition this but i'd be able to just make that segment of road smaller uh i i think i can manage that i'll fix that uh, but we also made this like custom road here because like this is a road which has a tram lane in the middle but like cars can drive in that tram lane i wanted to make it tram only so i did that I added the markings for it, and then it's just got the yellow lines, and I added asphalt, and this is just totally custom. Uh, the initial road is by Klus, and I like this a lot better for what we're working on. And I used TMPE to add some restrictions. But anyway, uh, I think that's basically it for this episode of Columbia City. Next episode and the one after are definitely going to be exciting. I'm looking forward to releasing those, so hopefully you are looking forward to watching them and looking forward to watching the next episode of New Windsor, which should be up pretty soon. Uh, and then some other cool stuff, which you should see uh, very shortly. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you did, make sure to leave a like. Helps out a ton. Helps new people find Columbia City, uh, which is definitely good if you if you like the series. Because then you have more people to chat with in the comments. Um, and also, it's, it's, it's nice. Like, uh, just leave a like. It, it would be nice of you. Um, you can subscribe if you're new around here. Hit the bell icon next to the subscribe button to get notified whenever I upload a video so you never miss an upload of Columbia City. As I mentioned in the video, I've uploaded, if you count, like, it, it, yeah, like the past eight days, I've uploaded four videos, which is pretty crazy, and they were all, like, full-length episodes. So I, I will try to continue something like that as long as I can uh, moving forward. You can follow me on Twitter. That's in the description. I post stuff on Twitter that one might post on Twitter. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram. I post stuff on Instagram that one might post on Instagram, except it's it's screenshots instead of photos, but they're photorealistic, like what you're seeing right now. Uh, and then you can support me on Patreon if you are uh, interested in grabbing the save game and flying around like I am, and um, maybe building in Columbia City or in New Windsor, Calaver Beach, or anything like that. Go over there. You can also get access to videos early, like whenever I finish a video, you get it over there. Uh, or you can get your name in the credits. Uh, lots of cool stuff over there. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. 
Um, and that's about it. Uh, I will see you in the next episode. Thank you.